Good evening, everybody. Crypto Strain here. This evening, let's talk about Moonbeam. Now, I've touched on this subject back on the 11th of February when I've done a video talking about exciting new projects being built on Polkadot. Now, I've been following it ever since, basically, and since then, it's making huge progress. We'll go through all the projects, partnerships, and everyone getting on involved with Moonbeam. It's actually quite fascinating and incredible to see from a project. As we go on Coin Market Cap, you can still see the ICO stage. Now, the ICO. I think we're talking about the third quarter this year. We'll finally get the ICO, the initial coin offering. We used to get involved with many ICOs back in 2017 during the last bull run. And a lot of projects were fantastic for me. Some were average, some were poor. And to be honest, I literally had three or four just pure and utter scams. So with ICOs, you've got to be careful. This whole video is not financial advice. You've got to do your own research, I always say. But when you look at Moonbeam, Look at the overall picture of it. And the fact it's actually two tokens built on Moonbeam. You've got Moonbeam GLMR, which is basically a smart contract blockchain on Polkadot. And then you've also got River, Moon River, which is built on Kusama. So they're basically running two tokens simultaneously next to each other. One on Polkadot, one on Kusama. And they basically have got the same sort of fundamentals, what they're doing. You know, it strives for, they both basically strive to provide compatibility with the existing Ethereum developer, tool chain and network. It does this by providing a full EVM implementation. And they're basically all about supporting the gas meet and the smart contract execution. Like for instance, GLMR, you know, that, that's how the gas fees are paid. Again, it keeps the fees down, makes it more appealing. But you know, you look at Moonbeam and Moon River, and they're both I say you've got the Ethereum developer tools such as MetaMask and also Truffle, but they've also got the Oracle integration such as Chainlink, Band Protocol, and Dia Protocol itself. And also got the API and infrastructure integrations, the wallets. Partnerships with other Polkadot chains, Akala, Quilliam, Kilt, Fala, Crust. You know, we go through them in a minute. We've also got the bridges, the chain bridge, Ren, you know, excellent project as well. DeFi protocols, Balancer, Sushi Swap, IDEX. So there's many sides to it. They're both say running very simultaneously. Go on their website, Moonbeam.network. The future is multi-chain, expand new chains powered by Moonbeam, and Ethereum compatible smart contract power chain on Polkadot. This is the difference when you go through it, the easiest path to multi-chain, you can scroll through. A fully Ethereum compatible environment Polkadot is what you know everyone instantly you think wow and plus then they run it as I say then you're doing a complete same on parallel on Kusama so it's absolutely fantastic what they're doing as they say grow your project with multi chain new users new use cases rich pool of assets gain immediate access to dot KSM Kusama grow an ecosystem now we'll go through the actual project building on Moonbeam shortly on another page but when you scroll through here the smart contract powered by the Glimmer token. Smart contract execution, staking, which is always great to see. Governance, participating on chain, glimmer weighted voting, governance, decentralization, fantastic transaction fees, as I said, are paid for in glimmer. Go about the roadmap, which I always find fascinating. This project was actually launched and started January 2020. Now, this year, obviously, what we care about is the third quarter, the launch of the Moonbeam on the Polkadot mainnet. But Moon River is going on Kusama in the second quarter. So they're running parallel, but obviously, you know, the Moon River is slightly ahead of Moonbeam. So when you go through it, you see two projects running like this together, you think, wow. But then when this page, when I saw this, as I've been monitoring this project, who's building on Moonbeam? Now you've got all the different sections here. Oh, I've selected all. And you scroll through like the graph, Orion Protocol, Icon, one of my favourites. For a project that's still at the ICO stage, and obviously it's got a wonderful team behind it in development, and the whole ecosystem around the Moonbeam network and the Moonbeam Foundation, to have all these, you know, to be honest, you know, <laughs> veterans in the crypto space like Oricon is absolutely incredible. And you scroll down like Ocean Protocol, I love that project, Dyer, Balancer, Crust Network. I've done a video on that project as a low cap gem a few months ago when it was just about $4.80 and now it's over $80. You know, the fact they're building on these is just absolutely wonderful. You know, it's all about chain link. You know, absolutely. If you want Quillium, which is like decentralized stable currency, you know, they've got. Band protocol, B Pro, I love that. An injective protocol. We spoke about a project last night. These partnerships that they're developing and building on Moonbeam for a project that's not even got its main out there on both systems, Polkadot and Kusami, to me is absolutely fascinating. Now, as we break down the two tokens, you can see here like GLMR, the Moonbeam network, as I say, that's for Polkadot and River is for Kusama. Okay, so you scroll through it. And you go through their movement, still as you swap contracts on Kasama and River, and it states there, and you go through everything they're doing, it states they're launching 2021, I hope that, I say, that looks like it's going to be ahead of actual moon beam itself, you know, so, you know, the GLMR, 
early experimental community led independent network for earlier launch earlier access now i want to know when the ico is being launched that's what really fascinated me you know and i just think as you scroll through it you can see the biff theory now this is what i thought was really good where it talked about the complete theory and capa um, compatibility and it states there initiated ethereum tools dApps and protocols DeFi integrations unified accounts web3 rpc evm okay you scroll through it's got everything and i'm just i just think it's just got so much potential you know the movie and the polka dot the exactly so basically it's the equivalent basically you know it's not word for word but most of it's just basically doing it the same so they can see the depends what network you want to use but their website's just full of so much information you know their blog alone it's got everything you will need to know all the latest update the recent blogs they talk about all the latest news that like recent announcement moonbeam and fax finance the graph as we say moonbeam moonbeam launches parachain staking palette consensus increases active collector set in preparation for moon river launch so i just think this really is a project that you need to keep your eye on we'll closely monitor it hopefully we'll find out the ico i think there'll be a massive waiting list i think so many people i hope they've sort of protected so the whales don't just go and get all of them sort of thing many projects sort of realize what's happening so and they don't want basically a lot of whales buying and then dumping on launch you know affecting the price so i hope they're going to restrict put a cap on how much you can spend on moonbeam the ico I think it's going to be absolutely fascinating. I really do. So this is one I'm really keeping my eye on. We'll closely monitor it and see how it develops. But when you've got all those projects already involved with moving and building on it, you know, general partnerships in the eco space was it's just as I've already I know I repeat myself, but the project's not even actually fully launched and got its main net yet. But they've got all these people on board. You can see the development. Where's this going to be in six months, a year's time once it's launched and people keep developing on it? Me personally, I'm going to hold this long term. Even if I don't make the ICO waitlist and I'm not one of the lucky ones, I will get it when it gets launched because I really do believe in this project long term. So time will tell, as we always say. Anyway, it'd be great to hear about your low cap gems. So many out there. Tell me some ICOs. So many being launched all the time. Most of them don't ever sort of materialise to anything, but it's always great when people tell me low cap gems. You know, what's what's the ones outside the top one thousand on coin market you're really bullish on? So. As usual, anyone want to help, email me infocryptostrain.com. All social media links are below. Join our Telegram group recently started. It'd be great to chat with you over there. Thanks very much, guys. Do another video soon. Have a wonderful evening. Cheers. Bye.